Hey everybody, my name is Mike. I've um, done a couple of videos for you guys on uh, changing the lift gate on the 2012 GMC Terrain and also how to create a peak voltage adapter when I was troubleshooting my boat ignition. Um, today I want to do something a little bit different and talk to you guys about the server that I'm using for home use. Uh, I decided to go with the Synology DS918 just because it can do a whole lot of things other than just serving up files. And eventually what I want to do with this is to uh, create a virtual machine so that I can back up my iPhone and my wife's iPhone to it every night without having to think about it. I want to create a whole house audio system so that I can uh, connect, like stream music from my library and Spotify or um, Apple Music or Pandora to any room in my house that's equipped to receive it. Um, I want to create a web dev server so I can share files with my mom and sister and any friends and family. Um, so today one of the things that I wanted to show you guys on the DS918 is how to upgrade the memory because I'm going to be having a, a lot of things for it to do. You, you do need to consider upgrading your memory. It comes stock with four gigabytes of RAM, which just isn't enough to get what I need done. So what I did is I went on to Amazon and I found this Tematech memory. I bought a 16 gig packet, which came with two gigabyte or two eight gig sticks of RAM. It is uh, not the recommended type of RAM for the Synology, but it does work. Um, at least that's what the Amazon reviews say. So we're gonna install it and see what happens. So the Synology DS918 is a four disc server. Um, I've went ahead and I put uh, four eight terabyte hard drives for a total of 32 terabytes. Um, you know you never get that because there's always gonna be some inaccessible space. And I'm also using uh, RAID 5. So the way RAID 5 works is if my first hard drive were to dump out, I could rebuild it off of information stored on hard drives two, three, and four. So for this reason, you're never really you know, without a, if one hard drive craps out, you're not gonna lose everything. So what's pretty cool about the Synology disk stations is in order to remove the, the hard drives, literally all you have to do is unlock them like you saw me do, pull up, and then the whole thing pulls out. The way that it does it is it's got this bracket that just kind of mounts to the outside of the hard drive and then you can just literally slide it in and lock it in place. So on this DS918, there is, let's see if I can show you, there is one memory chip installed. It's up here. It is a four, ter uh, four gigabyte stick, which like I said, is not really enough to do all the file serving and uh, all the virtual machines that I want to do. So we're going to upgrade it with that Timatech memory. So we'll lay it on its side because you guys probably won't be able to see, but I'm still going to try to show you. It's just like any other memory. You just have those little tabs that hold it on the side, so you kind of pry them out. The memory module pops up like that. Hopefully you can see at least a little bit of it, and you can grab it and just pull it out. So there was our Synology. You can't see it because of the light, but that was our Synology 4 gigabyte RAM stick. And then we'll go ahead and open up the Timitech RAM. And then we just line up the short side with the long side, or the short side with the short side and the long side with the long side. Careful not to touch any of the pins or the RAM modules. You just kind of set it in there like that, push it down, it locks in place. We're gonna do the same thing on the other one. We have another RAM slot just down here. So again, line up short, short, long to long. Just push it in and lock it in place by pushing the tabs down. So now what we'll do is we'll reinstall the hard drives. Let me, I don't think I got that fully seated, so let me just loosen it up. Like I said, you just pry those two tabs out. There we go, push it down a little bit, and then it locks in place. So I'll put my hard drives in, back in the order I pulled them out. Well, let me set it upside right so I'll remember which way. Like I said, they just slide in. Once you get it fully seated, push down the lever, slide in the drive next to it, Keep going. Oh, that was my first drive. And the last drive. Take our key, lock each drive in place to prevent anybody from accidentally pulling a drive out. Right now it's just me and my wife. My wife is terrified of this thing. She knows not to touch it, but we have a little girl who is six months old 
And right now she's not dealing with uh, getting into things, but give it some time and she will be. So, okay, that's it for installing the RAM. Just as simple as that. I'll go hook it back up, turn everything on, and I'll show you what it looks like from the Synology disk side. Okay, so here I am on the disk station manager side. Uh, this is the Synology interface for anything to do with the server. Uh, it's actually a really simple interface to understand and to use. So um, the, way, the way we're going to check to see whether or not we were actually able to successfully install the RAM is we go into our resource monitor, we go over to memory, and there we go. We got 16 gigabytes of total RAM. So um, the Amazon reviews were correct. The Timatech memory actually works just fine. They did recommend the Crucial, but the Crucial memory was like 30-something dollars more. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a, a link to the, uh, the uh, memory that I used on the description below. And I'll go ahead and even put the uh, hard drive that I used and the Synology DS918. I'll put links to those as well if anybody's interested in getting that server. Uh, like I said, it's what I'm using currently for my house, and I've had absolutely nothing but great things to, to say about it in the year and a half that I've owned it. Um, like I said, I'm just looking to do a little bit more than store files and serve up uh, media to my Kodi boxes. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade that RAM so that I can use it to its fullest capacity. Uh, if anybody has any questions, any comments, please let me know in the link down below. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.